What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be going through and painting the entire house. So this has been a long time in the making doing this. I've been spending a ton of time caulking every single little gap and crack on the house. So we're gonna get started over here. This is the east side of the house. I just got a couple things to finish taping up. I've already removed most of the lights and all that stuff. I got a big blade so when I paint the soffit and down by the foundation, I can use that to mask it. So I'm gonna give you a quick little walk around of it. So this is the east side. You can see that we got the big floodlight taken down. I still need to mask this off real quick. And then coming over here to the north side, got the timbers masked off up there. And then I'm gonna continue this tape line down here. Same thing on this side. The light is removed up there as well. And then once we get up here, uh, around the soffit like i said we're gonna be using that flat blade so i don't have to mask all that stuff off and then same thing down by the foundation i'm going to use it down there then over here on the west side you can see that i got all the lights removed i got all the vents from the bathroom and stuff removed and the high window um, taped you can see i used a bunch of different color silicone so that's clear we got white and then we got gray up there that's why it looks like a couple of those aren't done um, i just need to finish taping these off right here I've removed part of this planter box so that we can get a good good paint job down low. So we're going to run in the shop real quick. I'll show you the paint we're working with and a couple of the little things that I bought to hopefully make the process go better. So I'm pretty new to painting still. So if you guys have uh, any ways, any tips or anything like that to help me out, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Here's this blade with a handle. That's what I'll be using around the soffit. And I just got some masking tape. This is the caulk that I'm using or sealant, I guess. It's been working really good. The paint we're gonna be using, Sherwin-Williams Super Paint. So the color of this is Iron Ore. It's a pretty dark black. Should turn out really good. I really like this color. And then I've just got the paint gun and stuff right here. I did buy a extra 50 foot hose to connect to that, which will hopefully make it a lot easier when I'm painting it. So I'm gonna finish taping that stuff up. My dad's gonna come up here and help me. I've got the bucket truck for doing the high spots. We're gonna get started and see how it goes. If it's not applying perfectly, then I'm gonna try to like roll it after. I've seen painters spray it with the spray gun and then roll it after for like a smooth finish. So we'll see how it goes and I'll finish this up and we'll get started. Well, I just finished up masking this side. Got all the windows covered, got the faucet covered. I'm gonna go set up the paint, call my dad, have him come up here, and we're gonna start spraying that other side. So here's my paint gun, it's a Magnum X5. It's what I've used at the rest of the house. Um, I have a paint mixer there. So we're gonna finish setting this up. So this is the first coat. We did three of the four sides. The fourth side, the back side, isn't completely caulked yet. So I'm gonna work on that a little bit tomorrow and we might get to paint that tomorrow. Um, I got a little bit of overspray up on the soffit here. 
but I tested out some gas on a rag and it got it off just fine. So I'll have to go back through another day when I have more time, clean up the soffit a little bit, but it turned out good. It's all really even. This is a reflection off the truck. It's all really even, looks really good. Come around this side. So again, we got a little bit of overspray. You can see how we definitely got better at using that, that flat thing to keep the overspray from going on the soffit. But it's looking good so far. Up above the deck and patio is also done. And then up on this front side, first coat's also done. It's a little bit windy on this side, so hopefully by the time we make it back around here, the wind dies down a little bit. If not, we might just have to hit it in the morning after it dries. See, this is still a little bit tacky, but the sun is now on this side, so should dry it up pretty fast. And then this back side, we still got uh, some caulking to do. And then we'll do another two coats of paint back here when we get time. So we're gonna go back on that side we started on and get another coat on real quick and work our way around. So the second coat's done on these two sides. I still gotta go back through and take the tape off these timbers and remount the lights and stuff. But something that I didn't know about this color is over here, it's a pretty deep black. It looks good. This is in the shade. And then when you come around the front side, it's almost like silver. So this is still the first coat. So we're about to do our second coat on it right now. But the color is called iron ore. So it's definitely different in the sun. but it's definitely not black. You can see in the shade, like that's a deep black, kind of like on those other sides. But that's like a silver. But we're gonna get the second coat on and we're gonna finish it up, get all this stuff taken off. And then probably not gonna get to paint in the backside. I've already bought 25 gallons of this paint and we're actually about out. So the rest of this weekend, I'm gonna finish caulking this and getting this all taped up and ready. And then probably next weekend or whenever I can use my boss's bucket truck again, I'll get some more paint and come up and finish up that backside. But yeah, I overestimated on the paint calculation. I got six gallons extra and then over calculated on all the square footage and still ran out. So we'll get some more and finish it up, but keep going all right guys well that wraps up today um, we got two coats on three sides and like I said earlier we're gonna have to wait till another weekend to finish that fourth side um, tomorrow morning, I'm going to wake up, get the rest of this tape off of stuff, get all the lights up and all the covers and stuff for the exhaust fans. Um, and then I'm going to go to caulking on that backside. So right now I'm going to clean this all up. There's a, quite a process to um, cleaning it out and getting all the paint out of it before you put it away. And you can see that the sun's setting right now, so I'm going to hurry and try to get that done. This is probably going to be the video for painting my shop house. I'll probably just do that backside um, and not record it or anything. I don't want to just make a short video of that. But I am going to be doing a walkthrough. Now that I'm married, my wife has decorated the house and it looks really good in there. So some things have changed. So the next video will be a walkthrough. This will all be painted. Inside will be cleaned up and finished up. And I, I've done a couple more things in there. So... But thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think of the color below. And we'll see you next time.